Today we're going to talk about some of the advanced features behind the laser. In this case, we have ideal conditions. We have the same depth uh, in both locations. What if we didn't have that? Some applications are not so ideal. Your water flows through, maybe it drops in the manhole, um, and the laser would not work properly in, in those conditions. So what we did is we added a feature known as adaptive focus. And the way that works is the laser knows where the water is, knows where it should focus below the surface, but instead of doing that, it starts three inches above, scans all the way down, and comes back and finds the, the strongest return signal, kind of like an autofocus of a camera. It finds that signal, locks in on that, and that's what it uses to, as the point to calculate the velocity. So the big question is, why don't I use that all the time? The answer to that is battery life. Uh, it will take more power to run. It takes more time to get that reading because it's scanning and then locking in on it. But probably one of the biggest things would be possible uh, loss of accuracy because now it will more than likely look more at the surface of the water rather than go below the surface, which is the patent of the laser.